We all know the most hyped LEGO Star Wars set of 2024 is the Clone Speed Droids Battle Pack, and today we finally have the full official set images along with a second leaked January 1st, 2024 set. So first up, very quickly, we have the full reveal of the 4 Plus Crimson Firehawk set. Retailing at $50, this looks like a kind of fun 4 Plus set, but it's really overpriced with just over 100 pieces, and is really only worth it for younger fans who enjoy the Young Jedi Adventure show. Personally, I kind of hate it, but moving on. Now, leaks surrounding the January 1st Battle Pack have made things confusing, but we can finally get a clear answer here because set 7 5372, the Clone to be Droids battle pack is absolutely stacked, and it looks like the best battle pack LEGO has ever made. Retailing at $30 and with just over 200 pieces, this set combines the best of the 2020 501st battle pack with the original 2006 Droids battle pack. Breaking things down fully here, we have the small turret build, the Stap Droid Speeder, and the small Clone Speeder Bike, which is definitely a low point and looks like a copy of the 4 Plus Tanu Jedi Temple Speeder, but no complaints here. And then of course we have the Octopura Tri Droid itself getting a much needed update after 10 10 years. I really like the look of it as all the flaws of the original Utapau Battle Pack version have been fixed. With the chunkier build, a sleeker design and better legs it looks much cooler and honestly the Tridroid is the best build involved in this set by far. The staff is always cool but the turret and speeder bike are not the best in my opinion. Where this set is absolutely packing is of course the truly insane minifigure lineup where we have one shock trooper, three regular phase 2 clone troopers, two regular B1 battle droids and three super B2 battle droids. So the shock trooper is exactly the same as the version from the Coruscant Republic gunship, but like the Tridroid, it has been 10 years since we had any phase two grunt clone troopers. And I broke this minifigure down fully in my last video, but it's pretty much exactly as expected here. Getting three in the pack is the real highlight. And of course, that means that the army building potential is definitely there. Moving on to the droids, our regular B1s have nothing to report, except that one has a clip on the back stud for an accessory or weapon. And perhaps the biggest question left regarding this set was the new Super B2 battle droids, who do not seem to have any kind of updated hip mold. We can't be sure, but judging from these images, it's the same connector piece that is notorious for snapping, and there are definitely no rocket arms present, so basically no changes on the previous Super Battle Droids. So while the minifigure details have not exactly swept me away here, the number of them and the lineup absolutely has, and I'm definitely going to be picking up two or maybe ten of these battle packs. It gets a strong 8.9 out of 10 from me. That's about everything, so stay tuned for more and subscribe if you're new here, but I'll catch you guys next time.